Hey guys, <clears throat> it's I, Banded Wendy. I'm going to throw this in a video somewhere. Two year post op. And uh, I had the pleasure of going out to Palm Springs for the weekend, and they have the uh, Cabazon outlets in Cabazon. And I had not really been shopping and bought a lot of stuff lately, because when I hit my goal in July, the clothes I bought pretty much worked. And then I bought some clothes in October, and they've got me through winter. Um, but my shape has changed, and although I haven't lost any more weight, technically, um, my body is changing, so I need smaller sizes. So, I haven't had a jean jacket in years, uh, and in this shopping trip I got a lot of things, and it's just such an amazing place to be. Um, and I'm sharing it with you all because... I hear from so many of you that my videos are motivational and inspirational and to keep posting them and this is a part of the weight loss surgery journey. Um, accepting your size, right? Uh, gosh, it took me probably over a year post-op, um, 70, 80 pounds down, uh, 20 pounds from goal, to be able to look back at photos of myself from three years ago, even two and a half years ago, and totally be able to see my size. When I took those pictures, I kind of, oh, she's got a pretty face, and, or nice hair, or there's that smile in those eyes, Wendy, you know? But pretty much from here down, I didn't like it, you know? I didn't like to see it. So, when I look back at those pictures, I can actually see the amount of physical space that I took up. But it took me having weight loss surgery and losing 80 pounds to be able to go back and look at those pictures and actually understand the size ratio, right? Um, I was wearing 2XLs prior to surgery. And I was wearing 20, sometimes 22 bottoms, right? And even in some shirts and dresses, you had to buy 20s, 22s. There may have even been slipped in there 24 from Lane Bryant. I don't know. Um, and, you know, there were a lot of underlying reasons, a history of cancer in my family, both my father and my mother's side, uh, diabetes on my mother's side, um, heart problems, high cholesterol, levels and extremely low cholesterol levels also on my um, father's side of my family. So there's a history of health issues in the, in the Sims clan. But my real true number one reason for weight loss surgery is because I was tired of the way I looked. I was tired of having to buy those larger size clothes. I was tired of going into Lane Bryant and standing in those dressing rooms and feeling like I was just buying a sheet, you know, just to cover it up. And oh, when I found Torrid, wow, you know, I was like, ooh, young fun fashion for fat people like me. And uh, so yeah, my number one reason for weight loss surgery was to lose the weight so I could shop. Um, despite all those histories of family cancer and high blood pressure and diabetes, um, it was so I could feel and look like I felt fabulous, you know? Being fit wasn't even a goal, you know? I cringe just like everybody else does to see those weight loss surgery rules and see that 30 minutes of exercise. So, anyway, whew, oh, it was a long preface, right? Here I am. This is a jean jacket, and I have not had a jean jacket in probably 15 years. And I've been looking for one, and I found one, and this is an extra small. Extra small. Do you see? Huh? Looks pretty good. I'm not going to wear it buttoned. It's kind of hard to get your fingers in there, but I buttoned it up so you could see me. So I could see me. Right? This is a part of it. Uh, Raina Show 1 mentioned it recently. 
I believe it, you know, my wedding was my opportunity for this. Um, my journey through this weight loss with YouTube and Facebook, and of course my banded bitches and all my Blackberry Messenger friends, sending those pictures, the side, you know, a lot of you participate in Side Body Shop Wednesday. I created that with some banded bitches on a cell phone via Blackberry every Wednesday, rain or shine, fat or thin, bam. Now there's people all over the world doing it, right? And it just goes back to what Hula was talking about last week in her video, which is phototherapy. You know, YouTube is my video therapy. Get yourself in your clothes, you know? Um, gold clothes. I had a dress, you know, I had a dress that hung in my kitchen for eight months. I try it on every time, see how much further. I had one lady say to me, and I love her to death, that I might not be able to fit into it because of my boobs. I fit into it, you know, I zipped it up. But it's a process, and it's just part as much as the journey of losing the weight as learning to accept who you are, the flaws and the fabulousness, right? So I'm going to try on a couple of things, and I'm going to share them with you. But this is my extra small. There's always proof in the pudding, right? Love YouTube for proof. There it is. <laughs> extra small. From a 2XL to an extra small. Complete opposite ends of the spectrum for Banded Wendy. So stay tuned. These, I don't know if you can see my head. But most important is that you can see these pants. Can you see these pants? White. See that? Size 28 waist. Right? And uh, these are white. You know, it's the second pair of white pants I own. Right before gold weight, my husband bought me a pair of white pants. Capris. But these are white true religions. This is an investment piece of fashion, right? Investment denim. And I learned this trick from my husband, uh, who is a very successful weight loss surgery patient, uh, almost nine years post-op. And when you buy investment pieces, they're with you forever. And when you stop getting on the scale every day, you learn to determine your weight fluctuation gain, maintain, stay the same, um, or lose by the fit of your clothes. So he went out and bought tons of true religion jeans because he could never wear them prior to losing all his weight. And he bought me my first pair of true religion jeans, my gold jeans that I wore in my gold video. And this is my third pair. He bought my first two pair of true religions, actually. And this is my third pair. Uh, so if you don't know the brand, I want to share them with you. True religion. And there, I get them at the outlet. But there it is. Size 28. Size 28. So from a size 20-22 at Lady Bryant, or Torrid, size 28, white, inspired by Rosemary. <laughs> Uh, jeans, investment piece, a pair of pants I always want to be able to fit into, not going back, not going to do it, that's why it's okay for me to spend the money on them, because these are my gold weight pants, very important to have. And last but not least, one of the most important components outside of just doing it when it comes to exercise. I'm about to break out P90X day Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, day four, week four, four for four, exercise gear. When you start working out, you're wearing whatever fits, right? You're wearing the old t-shirt, the old sweatpants more than likely, you don't want to buy anything new, you're working out so you can follow the rule and lose the weight, right? And then as you lose the weight, the first thing you want to buy are the jeans, and the jackets, and the t-shirts, and the tops, and the underwear, and the bras, right? And the afterthought is your new workout clothes. And I've made videos uh, multiple times.
times about new workout gear. There comes a time. I mean, I wore the same workout clothes to the point where I was pulling the t-shirts in the back, tying them in a knot like a Hooters girl to make them fit and not fall off my arm when I was running. I wore my leggings and or sweatpants rolled down, but I would be running on the treadmill pulling them up, right? So I went to Target. Target has great discount clearance racks and also great prices that aren't discount or clearance on fitness fashion. Highly recommend it. I go when I need a little pick-me-up in my exercise routine, I get a new outfit from Target. Hard to just buy one, but sometimes it's okay just to buy one. This is from the Puma outlet, and I do a lot of plyometrics, jumping, stretching, um, and I had not wore shorts like this. I wore the tight, almost like biker shorts or running pants shorts, but nothing like this because I didn't feel right in them. So non-scale victory. I got my new workout clothes in an outfit that I feel pretty good about, right? So I highly advise you to take that leap and get the new workout wear wears that fit. And when you're not feeling motivated and you're not feeling passionate about your exercise, and you don't want to go make it rain, you know, you don't want to sweat, go get a new workout outfit. Don't be afraid to invest in your fitness fashion because it's going to take you a long way. And when you're going through the journey, right, and you go from a size 14 to your first size 12, or you go from your 12s to your 10s, and you still got 40 pounds to go, you're going to get into a 6 or a 4 at the end of the day. So don't go crazy buying size 10 everyday fashions, right? Hold out. Buy the necessities. Buy the jeans. Buy the shorts. Buy the dress. Buy the key components so you can go out in public and feel good. But spend more time buying a couple pieces, new tennis shoes, new sports bras, new exercise wear, new headband, new Garmin GPS watch. Um, new water bottle, things that support your fitness because you'll probably, they usually run a little bit smaller and you like them a little bit looser, so you'll probably wear those clothes through size 10, size 8, and size 6, right, before you need to buy more. So it's great to buy smaller sizes as you're going down, but it can be a financial nightmare, but you can always buy fitness wear. And it's going to last you a lot longer through those sizes. I speak from personal experience.